where did you find confidence in yourself to feel like you could do it? And um, how have you worked through moments where that was tested? <coughs> so I had a very high profile job, both at, uh, mostly at Twitter, just very high profile. And so, and knowing a lot of the early employees there ended up uh, as venture capitalist. Um, so I thought it would be easy for me. Little did I know, 2014 Loud, I was very idealistic. <laughs> um, it was, I didn't prepare myself. I didn't understand like cap tables. <laughs> I didn't understand a lot of things. I read a lot. I'm a speed reader. Um, how, did I, how did I get the confidence? I don't think, I don't know if anyone has talked here about like uh, the valley of despair that founders go through. It's like this valley where like I can't get out of bed. I don't know what's going to happen. I really believe in this. And then you kind of get up. Um, I believe the value of despair for underrepresented founders. Fundraising is really hard. Anyone fundraising. I remember I was coming back from an event with a male, uh, a friend of mine who's a, a founder. And he's like, I hate Sand Hill Road. I hate coming up here. <laughs> um, uh, it's, that's the experience that people just have. Um, I do believe that it's, it was hard. That there were many tears shed, that I was telling that Ravi was one of our investors that actually gave us a bloodline to try to get more <laughs> fundraising. But it always seems like it's, it's th towards the end that you're like, okay, I give up, and then something keeps you going. Um, I remember a friend of mine emailed me, and she has a PhD. She uh, has a co-founder, her, uh, her CTO, and said, you're the trifecta of difficulty. Like, you're a solo female Latina founder. Um, it, it was hard. Uh, I'd like to share this because I think it's important and it, people get shocked. Um, earlier this year, I was at a board meeting and I started getting a headache. And I was like, this headache is weird. Um, and I was flying between New York and here. And, uh, and I, uh, the headache didn't go away in my board meeting. It felt really weird. And then uh, by Sunday, my board meeting was Friday, by s Friday morning, Sunday, I was actually here at the ER here at Stanford. And I was diagnosed, uh, we, which we did not then, but with a benign tumor. And so I, about early, about a couple of months ago, I actually wrote a blog post that says, I survived Silicon Valley and brain surgery, and brain surgery was easier. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. Um, nothing against <laughs> uh, Stanford here, but I looked where were the best neurologists and specialists with what I've g given, um, all this stuff. And I realized that, that I CEO'd myself out of that situation. <laughs> like very quickly got second opinion, like within, I got three opinions with a top neurologist within two days. Like I was texting, I was everything. My mom's like, why are you on your computer? Like uh, here at the hospital. Um, but it, it, honestly, it was able to teach me um, that, that if I hadn't been a founder, I don't know if I would have, I probably would have gone into a despair mode when you are diagnosed with those things. Um, I just, like, so yeah, I definitely do believe and uh, that um, being a CEO and a founder and an entrepreneur has sh shaped the way I interact with challenges every day. <laughs>